Well, at first glance, it doesn't seem like much of a place to live, but in a first-of-its-kind project that could provide a solution to Canada's social housing crisis, old shipping containers are being turned into affordable homes for homeless women in Vancouver's downtown east side. Robin Gill got a look at the project in one of Canada's most disadvantaged neighbourhoods. On Vancouver's downtown east side, homelessness is a reality. At Atira, a centre for women, each day the staff has to turn away 10 to 12 looking for a place to call home. And those are women who are um, absolutely homeless, so meaning they're either uh, living on the street, they're couch surfing, they're staying in shelters, they're coming out of hospital, coming out of prison, so they have nowhere to live. The centre teamed up with a developer to come up with this, the first of its kind project in Canada. These recycled shipping containers are being made into apartments for women with low incomes. Anyone could live in this, whether you're a millionaire or whether you're uh, you know, in need of social assistance. The developer was inspired by another port city, London. This is Container City on the Thames. The multicolored stacks are cheaper than bricks and mortar. In all, 70 people live here paying rent that ranges from 600 to 1,000 pounds. That's low by London standards. We tried to look at a more holistic approach to housing rather than just keep building new materials, digging new stuff out of the ground. In Vancouver, the plan is to build 12 units at $85,000 a pop. The rent starts at $375 a month. Ultimately, the women living here will have their own front door. These are brand spanking new units, so they will be fully self-contained. They will look like any other apartment in the city of Vancouver. Already there is interest around the country and the group plans to take the plans on the road, hoping others will be inspired to build on it. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.